Welcome to that handicapping show sponsored by RacingToday.com. That's Racing Numeral 2 Day.com. I'm Claire Novak, joined today by Frank Angst. What that means when you see Frank on the show, we're talking about yet another three-year-old race. And this weekend, it's the Robert B. Lewis $200,000 a mile and a 16th at Santa Anita Park. Frank, this race shapes up as the return of Midnight Hawk who ran in the sham stakes last time, won. Some people bashing the horse coming out of there. Bob Baffert, a four-time Lewis winner, sends out two in this race. Uh, what do you think about Midnight Hawk? And I know you're not going to settle on him, but give me your analysis. I mean, I, I think that's obviously the horse you have to start with, and largely it's a question of can he be beat in this race. I mean, this, this race, as if we did, as if we needed another reminder, it's another reminder of how much the Triple Crown Trail has changed. Mm. I mean, it's a race that has two stakes winners in it. Only one that's won on a stakes on dirt in mm -hmm. Midnight Hawk, who just won the sham. Um, I like the, it's interesting to me how this horse is being handled. It's, it's coming in off two five furlong works, which is a little different for uh, Bob Baffert. So we'll see how that turns out for this horse. I wasn't quite sure what to make of that, but I mm -hmm. thought it was interesting and I, th you know, I think it's something to consider as he's coming in. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, he, you can't knock the horse. He's two for two and has done everything right, and I'm sure he'll be the, the favorite. Um, but the, the horse that I was kind of looking at is Cool Samurai, who was able to close into a slow pace last time and still get up for the win. Mm -hmm. Granted, he's coming off a of maiden, but that's kind of where we're at now in the Triple Crown Trail. Mm -hmm. These horses win a maiden, and then they're, they're tossed right into the stakes to see what they can do because you only get so many chances. Um, but I, I had that, I rated that track as a, a bit speed favoring that day, so I give the horse extra credit for, for closing on that surface. Mm -hmm. I like the four works since that start. I mean, they're clearly saying, hey, let's see what we have here and let's find out. And so they're, I think they're putting this horse in a good position. I think the, the Brisnet speed figure of an 85 perhaps might have been a little higher had they not gone so slow early. Mm. So in a way, to me, it's kind of a compliment because he still was able to match his previous speed figure. And now, in a race that figures to have a more honest pace up front, we'll see how he reacts to that. Yeah, and this horse um, trained by John Sheriffs through the Mosses, he actually broke his maiden, or he didn't break his maiden, he made his first start at Belmont when John had taken that string out there to New York, came back at Santa Anita and then broke his maiden like you mentioned, and both times he's raced a mile. And I, I suspect Mike Smith's opinion is is uh, well worth noting as, as he sticks with Midnight Hawk. Right. He, had, he had won on Cool Samurai, but perhaps he's thinking further down the line. Sure. One thing about handicapping these prep races is to look at each race, because some horse is going to win some horses might be aiming further down the line, mm. and I think that might be the case with Midnight Hawk. But I, I'm largely follow, following on Cool Samurai because I like the closing against what I had as a surface bias in that previous start. Yeah, and that Bob Baffert connection for Mike Smith has worked out before with Bodie Meister, Painter, those types of horses. Maybe not getting the win, but definitely getting a big piece of the money in the Triple Crown well, event. It's, it's worked out well with John Sheriffs before, too. <laughs> that is that true. <laughs> Good point. A little horse named Zenyatta. Well, I'm going to take a look at Candy Boy, and I will say that our behind-the-scenes fellow here, Flash Thompson, who, by the way, thinks that he's like a pro handicapper now because he picked Cairo Prince, really, the chalk, what I also think I might have picked that horse, I can't remember that far back, to win the Holy Bull. Anyway, the point is that Flash likes Candy Boy, even though he doesn't like his name. So, let's take a look at this horse. Cash Call, Futurity, runner-up, comes back off the layoff. Frank, what do you think about him? I mean, definitely, if you're high on shared belief, you have to have a certain amount of respect for Candy Boy. Made a nice run there. I always like when young horses, two-year-olds, three-year-olds, pass some horses, which he definitely did there. Mm. Um, I guess some question on how he handles the dirt uh, is that that was probably his best run, which was on the synthetic surface mm -hmm. of Hollywood. But his one run on at dirt also finished second at Santa Anita. And, Got a nice speed figure there. Yeah, looking at the speed figures, he does measure up well in this race. I'm still, at this point in time, debating between him and Midnight Hawk. I think I might stick with Midnight Hawk, and yes, that will be your likely favorite. I did go back and watch the Sham Stakes. I can't really find any reason to knock him in that race. It wasn't ultra super impressive, but it was working like he's only raced two times before. He has room to improve, and I think he just needs to continue learning not to wait on horses. Um, so I, I'm probably going to stick with him because I, I don't see why not. 
I think if he runs a big race here, you could be looking at the Derby favorite. All righty. Any other insight? That's it for me. <laughs> That's it. All right. This weekend is a great weekend. We have the Don Handicap on Sunday with Will Take Charge. We've got Game on Dude running on Saturday. We've got Groupie Doll planned for her return coming up. So good weekend of racing, but we're going to stick with that analysis and let you guys figure out the rest on your own. So good luck with that. For uh, Briz, thanks again for the PPs. And to RacingToday.com, I'm Claire He's Frank. Thanks for watching The Handicapping Show.